Well, I'm going to spoil it for her, but <laughs> 90s are on the way. We knew it was coming. The state forestry department wants people to be mindful of wildfires. That's right. Team 12's Chase Golightly spoke with them tonight about what you need to know. Mark Kribe, this wind isn't the only potential danger you'll have to keep your eyes on. This year, experts predict will be another dangerous wildfire season, especially with how many they've seen so far. While it doesn't seem like fire season, we're seeing fires on a daily basis. We just had another one today. The State Department of Forestry and Fire Management says it's here. We've had multiple starts, at least a dozen over the last six weeks down in that area. Um, we just had a 1300 acre fire yesterday. Tiffany DeVilla says most of these fires are happening in southern Arizona the biggest area of concern for fire crews in the state. Southern Arizona is where we're going to see the bulk of our activity or the potential for the bulk of our activity um, over the next few months. All the moisture and rain creating an overload of fuel for the fire. DeVille is saying the majority of calls they've received have been from fires that got out of control at people's homes. Going outside, they're burning off vegetation, they're burning debris. The next thing you know, they have an escape fire and we're called, the, the feds are called. A situation Maricopa County is also expected to be in. So we will see an, an increase in our activity there. Which is why she and other officials are encouraging those who plan on getting out of town and into nature for this warm weekend need to be extremely careful. If you're having a campfire, just make sure it's out and cool to the touch before you walk away. Always secure your tow chains if you're heading up north, you're going to the lake this weekend. And keeping that caution in mind when they return home. People still need to understand that we do have the potential for fast moving wildfires. And while the season has started for us here in the valley in southern Arizona, the experts say for the northern part of the state, their fire season may actually be delayed just because of all the rain and snow they've received. We're in Phoenix tonight. Chase Golightly, 12 News.